And that's covenant language. You know, the Bible's always saying, if you obey the covenant, you'll be blessed. If you disobey the covenant, you'll be cursed. And Jesus Christ obeyed the covenant and earned the blessing, but then at the end of his life took the curse of the covenant that we deserved. Kathy and I were probably Christians in college. We were involved with our campus fellowships. But it wasn't until we were together in fall of 1972 when we were taking a course at Gordon-Conwell Seminary on Old Testament covenant theology with Meredith Klein. And he explained the covenant. And he explained that if you obeyed the covenant, there was blessing. And if you disobeyed the covenant, there was a curse. And that at the end of his life, Jesus Christ had obeyed the covenant perfectly because he became a human being. Because when he went to John the Baptist and John the Baptist said, no, I can't baptize you, Jesus says, yes, you must, because we must fulfill all righteousness. What's that mean? Because I've come as a human being to completely fulfill the covenant, to do everything that I'm required to do, that a human being is required to do, to love God with all my heart, soul, strength, and mind, to love my neighbor as myself. And he did. And he, was, and he completely obeyed the covenant as a human being, earning the blessing of the covenant, but at the end of his life, he went to the cross and took the curse of the covenant that we deserve for our covenant breaking so that when we believe in him, his blessing becomes ours. And the minute we heard that, we understood the gospel finally. Like most young Christians, we had been whipsawing back and forth between being legalistic and relativistic Christians. We went through periods of time saying, basically, I've got to really surrender to God or he's not going to bless me and we're always feeling bad. And then other times we said, no, I'm just loved and everything will be okay and I really don't have to work hard at how I live. And finally, we, it, the penny dropped. This is the answer to all the riddles. Class, is the, is the covenant conditional or unconditional? Is your relationship with God conditional or unconditional? Class, the answer is yes. Yes. Is it conditioned on human obedience? Yes. God became a human being in Jesus Christ and fulfilled all the conditions of the covenant so that when you believe in him, he can be committed to you unconditionally forever. 